Hey guys, Mark here from Sawfly Concepts. Um, welcome back to this channel of tutorials and stuff. So today we're going to be looking at reflective windows in Thought Simulator, um, in P3D version two and above, I think. I don't know. Uh, in P3D, either way, uh, you can have dynamic real-world reflections. Um, and the way you do that is you just click on Use Global Environment Map as default, and you just turn on the real-world reflections inside your P3D setting. So either way. Um, this method works for all of the flight simulators except for FS9, where the reflective windows has to be has to, the, the model has to be designated as an aircraft type of model, um, or an aircraft texture, something like that. But it's complicated, and you, you can do it in FS9, but in FSX it is so much easier. Now, what I've got here is a very very basic building. Um, it's like a box with some windows on it. These are the windows. Yep, see them? Those are windows. Okay, so I built this in SketchUp, as you can see. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to export it, and we're going to pull it into Model Converter X, and we're going to convert it into an FSX-friendly model. So let's just call it a Reflections. A Reflections. Model Converter X. Open it up. Go on to daytime. And find the model. A. There it is. A reflections. Okay, now that's in Model Converter X. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a good look at it. Yep, that looks good. And we're gonna then we're gonna save the textures as FSX standard. So we don't need the default color because we're not gonna see it. And all we've got to do is just save the textures. Now I'm saving into my EGTX folder. Save them. And now they're already in there. It's the same ones I've used for some of the models in that scenery. So let's go ahead and export. We'll go for Flight Sim, FSX, Eggtux scenery, and it goes in there. Okay, now that's exported. Let's bring it back in. So, FSX, EGTX. In there, and it's a reflections MDL. There we go. Now there's our model. Okay, so now we're going to be focusing on the reflections, and in order to make reflective windows, um, you can do it in one of two ways. Now you can have your windows be on a sheet, like you would anything else, or you can have them separately. I have them separately. As you can see, there's my Windows texture, and there's my other texture. So they are two separate things, and that means when you make one reflective, the other one won't be. Now the first and the easiest way to do a reflection is simply click on the texture, go down to the bottom where you get the textures, and scroll up a little bit, and it gets a special functionality. Change the reflection scale to 1. And go down to the bottom where it says use global environment map as reflection, change it to true. And there's our reflections. So, it looks pretty good as it is, but what we want to do now is we want to make sure that everything isn't reflected because right now the window frames, as well as everything else on this particular face, and this one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, are all reflective. We don't want that. What we want is we want to make sure only the glass sections get reflected. And the way to do that is to make a specular map for the um, texture. Now the way the specular map is going to work is we're going to block out certain parts and allow other parts to shine through. So let's take a quick look at the specular map I've got for this. Window glass. S, there it is. Okay, now you're not going to notice any difference at the moment because the specular map is completely black. We have a look at it. This is what I got. Now, if we just take a closer look at that inside DXT BMP, you'll see what I've done with the specular. Um, with the alpha, should I say. So let's go into there, and it's going to be. Where are we? Uh, Windows sheet S. 
Okay, pull that into there, and we can see that the glass is completely opaque, and the areas between are not. So if we click on Preview Transparency, we'll see that the glass is black, and the areas between are transparent. And it's quite easy to make that. All you've got to do is just pretty much do what I've done here. I've made um, the sort of lines going across um, slightly lighter, and I've made the inside areas, the, uh, the actual glass panels themselves, perfect black. I've just clicked on Create Alpha Channel from Black, and it does it for you. And then just invert the alpha if you need to, um, but in this case it's fine. So yeah, there we go. And that's the texture. And we've now applied it in the specular. So there's still no difference, but there will be once we change one setting. Blend environment by, by specular alpha. And there we go. Our windows are now reflective and the panels are not. Close a look at that if you want. And there you go. Make sure you save your textures and then you can just simply export the model as you would any other model and put it into flight sim. Um, if you do this in P3D, if you have your real, real world dynamic reflections turned on, you won't see the default environment map. What you'll see is the um, actual world reflected around it. So that's that's fun. But yeah, that's exactly the method you need to use. And um, that's how you make reflections. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, I've tried to keep it below below half a week. And um, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, just let me know by leaving a like. Um, remember to comment if you have any questions. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. We're almost at 500-ish. And I could not be happier. If you do wish to support Soulfly Concerts, we have a Patreon link in the description. We also have our website where you can donate, or you can also buy our scenery if you, if you wish to. Our website shop is now up and running. Feel free to purchase anything from there. It's all secure and safe. PayPal only, I'm afraid. And the scenery is a lot cheaper on there than it will be on any other website. Okay, so that's everything sorted out. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Mark from Soulfly Concepts. Good fly. Bye. Fly. That word. So shiny. <laughs> shiny things are shiny. I like shiny. Shiny's good.